Welcome to the gap. This is gap. They should have never gave you platform. Let's get into the next seg segment. Ooh, wait. It is the sad, sad segment. And today, I got to talk about this weird ass show created by Donald Glover, uh, Swarm, on Amazon Prime. Um, uh, it, it had potential. Okay. It started off, I'm like, ooh, this is about to be different, different. Okay. I'm like, in the concept, you know, I watched the show with my lady. And we was watching it. We kind of had the same sentiment. We were like, yo, this, this is kind of getting weird. What is going on? But like, she read to me and told me, was like, yo, these are based off of stories that actually happen, but the main character is not real. So, and um, this was a thriller, you feel me? Uh, Since I'm a stat teacher, let me hit you with the stiz ads. You ain't got no box office and no budget, so... Wait, let me hit you with the stats, though, you know what I mean? IMDb gave it a 7.3. Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 85%. And the people gave it an 87%. Um, uh, f*** y'all. What the hell was y'all watching? What was y'all watching? Because I was just watching a bunch of confusionists. Yes, I made up a damn word. But why can't I make up a word? We make up words every day. Think about it. Cis women and cis men? What the? Cis? That's made, that made up. That made that up. Thin air. So yeah, confusionistness. I'm going to make up a damn word. And that's what this left me in. A state of confusionistness. God damn. Donald Glover, man. I rock with you, bro. But this show, this show wasn't it, man. A lot of stuff where I'm like, what? I put it like this. The acting was great. The acting was great in the premise. I'm like, okay, this makes I, I liked it. Execution to, to it was lacking. Lacking execution. A lot of stuff wasn't tying together. Like, let me give you that. Let me give you that. Just a couple of the actors, you feel me? They had Dominique Fishback. She was Dre. Kudos to you. You you play you play great roles. You're a great actor, like magnificent. You know you magnificent in Snowfall. And they had another person, another uh, actor from Snowfall, Damus Idris. You feel me? His name on the show was uh, don't matter. He got killed in the first ten minutes. <laughs> what a marketing tool y'all used. Damus Idra and. Chloe Bailey, you feel me? To the little sex scene. Y'all use that as a marketing thing. And we thinking they about to be main characters in the show. Nope. They get murdered in the first freaking episode. Spoiler alert. Sorry. Not sorry. Uh, they get murdered. Ha cling! Hacked off. You know what I mean? Uh Chloe Bailey, uh, I think she murked herself, but it was so hard to tell. I couldn't really tell what the hell was going on. And Damon's Idris character, you know what I mean? He got murked by Dre. She she murked him because, you know, she thought he had something to do with Chloe Bailey. And I don't know her character. It's not under here either. Like, why do they do that with some shows? Like, they don't have the character names. It's it. stupid. I don't like when they do that. Amazon be doing that a lot of times. Their shows always have... Like, they don't have the character names under there. But anyway, they were best friends, Dre and Chloe Bailey. You know what I mean? They were best friends and stuff. And then, that it, you know. They made it seem like she self-deleted, but I, I couldn't really tell. And the plot and the premise of this goddamn show is very simple. Essentially, it's showing fandom. Just outrageous fandom. Because Dre is in love with... This artist named Queen Naja. And yes, she's so much in love, she kills for this woman. Jesus and Christ. they're just trying to show the whole thing where it's like, you know, it's in Houston, based off of Houston. And Queen Naja is basically Beyonce. And they're showing, you know, they have the swarm, the bees, beehive, 
Beyonce. You get it? And like the extreme fandom and the craze fandomness leads to Dre, this fan, to go on a killing spree. And I ain't talking about Halo. Okay? She was out there murking everything and anything, and it made her hungry and horny. What? Or did it make her just hungry? Or was she freaking the food? I don't know. It was some weird food thing going on, too. I don't know. Oh. And one episode where it flashed some little thing. You know how, like, they try to give you subliminal messages and shows and stuff, and they flash you something? Like, back in the day, they flash you, uh, and I got this off of, um, Tariq Nashi broadcast that he had last night where it flat like there's like uh movies and shows and they flash you to get popcorn and it like had an uptick of people buying popcorn. Well in this show it had a flash of white. That's a, just a flash of white. It was just a white blank in one of the episodes. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? What is this? What does this mean? I don't know. But yeah, Dre like she ended up doing that, and she travels back and forth between, like, Memphis. One time, I think she was in California. She was traveling throughout the states, murking people. And the concept is like, okay, that's why I thought the concept was good, because every episode, the, the premise and the storyline was true. But the main character was, was not real, and they changed certain names and stuff within those stories itself. And, I mean, they had one episode where they completely did, like, Chloe Bailey and Damon Andrews, like, their picture wasn't in it, but they were talking about them, and they used different people. I guess they used the real people, because Chloe Bailey character was supposed to be this, so it was a story about this woman, and, you know, Beyonce Lemonade came out, and, you know, she's talking about her getting cheated on by jay-z and stuff like that and this woman she offed herself because she couldn't take or bear the pain that this beautiful woman this woman on this pinnacle of a status got cheated on so she lost hope and self-deleted but in this show they made it where you know dre is avenging her so you know she went and you know she did the whole Stripper thing. And that was another thing. Hold on. Dre became a stripper, right? And she did her little dance, her awkwardness and stuff like that. And then, like, like literally, the next episode, like, did she read a book, How to Strip for Dummies or something? I don't know. Like, she became an amazing dancer. She read something or watched something. What'd she do? Watch a YouTube video on how to strip? Like, I don't understand. How did Dre become such an amazing dancer after 24 hours? After she killed that that the fat dude, she became immaculate at stripping. Golly, like so many holes in the story, and I ain't talking about the holes y'all think I'm talking about. I'm saying holes like H O L. Y'all get it? Okay, no, y'all want me to stop? Okay, I got y'all. Not bad. <laughs> God damn, bro! Like seriously, how? How the man? Oh my god, Confusionist! Jesus. Also, man. Oh man, um, there's some episodes I'm not even gonna talk about. I'm a, I want y'all to watch it so y'all can be just as confused as me. I I'm in La La Land still trying to <laughs> explain. This. But the main premises is just showing that the uh the craziness of extreme fandom. That was the main plot of this, you feel me? Okay. Um, they had, uh, I mean, the last episode, the ending was like, what the hell ending was that, man? She turned into, like, she went to Atlanta, Dre went to Atlanta and became a lesbian. She turned into Manny Fresh. Like, bruh, I, y'all cannot tell me that this, she don't look like Manny Fresh. Come on now. What? She turned into Manny Fresh and fell in love with this girl, but she ended up murking this girl because this girl didn't like Queen Naja. You can't dis disrespect Naja. 
you end up choking her out. I love you. Oh, but you're talking about Queen Nausea. It's over for you. Ever, 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 ever fresh. <laughs> she didn't say fresh, but you know, many fresh back in the day when you. Okay, I'm on that. <laughs> oh my god, bro. It did. She murks his girl in like. Oh, and then um, she ended up uh, kind of getting away. I, Donald Glover, please don't make a season two to this. Please don't. Please don't, because if you do, I'm going to watch it. Oh, and I'm going to be put to the torture of confusionism. Or confusionist. Confusion. Is it confusionism or religion? I don't even know anymore. I don't know. What's up? What's down? What's left and right? When I was watching this, I didn't know. I looked at my lady, and I didn't know if she was still here. Was she a mirage? I don't know. Was she? I don't know. Swarm. Swarm my brain. It swarmed my brain of confusion, and now I don't know anything. I'm lost. But, uh. Maybe y'all could be lost with me. I don't know. Comment below. Let me know what y'all think of Swarm. Did y'all get confused? Were y'all lost? Did y'all did y'all think anything was real anymore? I don't know. Like everything was upside down world. Jesus, like uh, but I ain't gonna deter you from it. Hey, get lost with me, y'all. Go watch Swarm. Get Swarm in the confusionist, okay? Oh, Lord and Lord. Wow. Um I uh, anyway, that was Swarm on Amazon Prime. Get uh, get confused uh, at your own risk, okay? And you little perverts out there, all y'all put on the social media was Damus Ildra giving Chloe the back shots. You dirty minded mother effers. Golly. Y'all like, damn, there's Ildra, bro. He getting Chloe the Bailey the back shots. And not only that, he get to go home to L Lori Harvey. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Even women was like, oh, kudos to you, Damon Skinner. Damn. I'm like, what the hell is going on? What is going on, bro? Oh, Lord and Lord. I just had to address that, you little preverts. Jesus. 